Welcome to Crisio's Clucky Chronicles. And I'm here in Dale's little chicken yard with her babies. We're gonna talk a little bit about yeah, different things today. I wanna talk about Dale and her babies and how long she's actually been broody. She's been broody an extremely long time and very mama hen-ish for a very long time. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about broody tooties. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining along and all my feathered brained goodness here. It's going to be a fun time. At least I hope it will be. But anyway, here we go. Let's get into it. Yeah. So there's Dale. As you can tell, Dale's feathers have grown in a lot. So she doesn't have a bare back anymore. We were able to take the saddle off of her. And these are babies. We have Ellen with the red comb in the front. Then we have Johnny and Nicole, which like to hide. They're not friendly at all. Um, cross mix uh, wine dot eggs. So as far as whoever the daddies are, I'm not really for sure. Um, could be Rhode Island Red, but the majority of them are going to be um, mixed. Mixed babies. Um, Dale's been an extremely good mama, but she has been a mama for a very long time. Like an extremely long time. So we started out here, in there. That's where she hatched those babies that, as you can see, they're, they're pretty wild they're running from me because they don't they they don't like to be held or touched or anything and plus dale's been pretty funny about it um picking them up messing with them she's actually charged me a couple of times when they were younger now they're completely fully feathered out and they're soon going to be just as big as she is now how long she's going to play mama hen part i don't know that's up to her but it's kind of strange because any other broody tootie that we've had, they haven't let their babies still snuggle with them at this particular age. So, hand raising birds, um, I prefer that method of hatching my own, hand raising my own. Now, when I started, I didn't have anything to hatch. I just went and purchased um, some specific breeds that I wanted and um, since then I have had a couple of hens that acted like they wanted to be broody but nobody actually ever successfully hatched me any eggs but Dale. Dale's a, you know my bearded Americana the one I just showed you. So now these are supposed to be the what they call lavender but they're gray Orpingtons. So we'll see how they do. Um, generally the Orpingtons, um, if you get a good broody mama, they will hatch you some nice pretty babies and eggs. And it's fun because I get to see which different color patterns I get with all the different chickens that are out on my chicken yard. So the best thing to do is if you don't have an incubator and you don't want to hatch your own eggs or take the time you want to get down. If you don't want to hatch your eggs, you don't have an incubator, and the cheapest way by not having an incubator is just get you a good broody mama hen. Now broody mama hen is gonna sit on as many eggs as she can get up under her. Leave her alone. Let her do her magic. Now I separate broody mamas as you, as you well know. I move them to my, as I call my baby barn, my baby pen and then i let the broody mamas do whatever it is they want to do laying on the eggs i try not to put two broody mamas in the same pen together 
just for the fact that they will fight sometimes, they will steal each other's eggs, they will argue, and the hatch rate's not all that great. But with Dale, she took four eggs, three hatched. That's a pretty good hatch rate for me. Now, um, an incubator, my incubator, it does cost you in electricity, but it's fun to get to see them pip and to turn, what you know, watch the machine turn, hatch, all that good stuff. I probably won't hatch again until the spring, so I'll let my mamas hatch and then I'll hatch some too. So every year during the spring, I will hatch a batch of babies because as the older hens get too old to egg anymore, they just live out the rest of their senior years with us in peace and happiness. And sometimes even they can get a little broody even when they're not having some eggs and I just let them do whatever it is they want to do. So broody hens can be very beneficial to you and for you if you're wanting them to do all the work. It's what they're created to do, right? <gasps> all right, so what are y'all doing? This is a family show. Stop that jiggling. Anyway. So what does it mean for a hen or a female bird to go broody? What it means is that their internal clock tells them, hey, I need to hatch me some babies. I'm gonna have eggs and then I'm gonna lay on these eggs and I'm gonna hatch me as many babies as I can lay on. Now, I don't know how well you can see in here. Maybe you can see, but she's moving around in there. She has a clutch of eggs. The clutch is nothing more than just a group of eggs. And I think actually she's got too many for her. Anyway, she's got them under there and she has one male Bob White that likes to come in there and he will actually go in there with her and they'll lay together on the eggs. At night they bed down at night. So she's broody. I do not go near her box. I'm just zooming in to show you because um, that can make her leave the nest, it can make her angry, and I just don't want to do that. Now, um, there's no other eggs in any of the containers. That container got moved around. I don't know why, but we're gonna put that in a different place. And if you look right back there, there's a couple of females and a male that's back there. Oh no, there's a couple of males. There's one right there peeking through the cracks and they're just making their little nests and their little areas and they're just doing their little things they're making their little noises and just having a, a good time so that's what they're doing now she just popped out of there I guess she turned everything but she popped out of there I'm gonna let her hatch what she'll hatch now typically my Bob White quails took about 24 days 24 days. I don't see any more eggs over here, but they've <laughs> stood some up. They've moved around just different things. But if I find that I have any more broody mamas, then that's what I'm going to do. I leave them alone and let nature take its course. I don't like to mess with them. She's fussing right now because I've come in here. And she's like, hey, you know, my eggs are in there. You're bothering me. Anyway, broody just means that they want to hatch eggs and they want to sit in there and have as many babies as humanly possible. Hey! Now, I don't have any drakes, which is a boy duck, to service or jiggle my girls. I know. It's so sad. But I don't really care for drakes that much. I haven't had very good encounters with drakes. They're kind of mean. And they're mean to my girls. And this is Sherry D. Sherry D is an Indian runner. She's absolutely beautiful. And probably in several more weeks, she and her sisters will start laying some eggs. Now they won't be hatchable because they're not fertilized. So, with that being said, if any one of my little duck girls becomes broody, I don't really know what I'm going to do because they won't be able to hatch anything or anybody. So, I may have to order me some eggs 
for them to hatch if I can't break their broody. And there's several methods that people will tell you about on breaking broody, um, broody birds and broody hens and broody ducks. Some of it works and some of it don't. You have to know your bird. You have to know their personality and how they are, um, you know, tempered. It's just not every method that you see is going to work. You got to figure out what's best for your babies. Just like I have to figure out what's best for my babies. Just like Sherry D. She is just so cute. She's so beautiful and I love her. She's such a goodest baby in the world. She sure is. So just figure it out. Whatever works for them will work for you. Just be nice about it. Ain't that right, Sherry D? Ooh. So, Ricky here is wanting to be broody and she's wanting to lay on some eggs. Now the reason I know that she's not completely fully broody is that she allows the other girls to pack her and pick her and move her off of her nest, which I've showed you guys in the other videos before. And she's super fussy, you know, when I pet her. And a lot of times she just wants to sit up here and just rest. Now I'm gonna pick her up and we'll see if she's got any eggs under her. And she might or she might not. You kinda have to know your bird to know if they're really broody or not. Because sometimes if they act like they wanna be mamas, they're not really ready to do that. So let's see what she has up under her and see if she's really truly a broody booty. You ready? All right, Ricky, I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. Just come over here and pick you up, okay? You got any eggies under you? We're gonna check and see. You're gonna be real mad, okay? You're gonna be big mad. Yeah, come on, let's look and see. Nothing. She's back again with no eggs. Now, if you do have a broody hen, they will pluck, generally, mine do, pluck the feathers off their underside of their chest and their little breast. And they will sit on these eggs and hatch for 21 days. That's their typical cycle. At least that's what mine, mine do. It took Dale 21 days to hatch two and on the 22nd day the other one hatched she had three eggs so ricky still likes to think that she is broody there's no eggs up under her but if she continues her pattern and she starts plucking her chest feathers out and she starts to get more aggressive and more fussy than what she is right now giving me the warning you know sounds then I will at that point probably let her hatch and move her to the broody baby barn and let her do her thing. And there's no point in me trying to break her from being broody. This is her natural instinct. She's a chicken. This is what she's created to do is have babies and just be a mama hen. <coughs> Well, she doesn't have an egg up under her, so I think she's a little bit confused on if she wants to be broody. She's already laid her egg, and we've collected eggs for what we're going to do for this evening. If somebody comes in and lays a stray egg and she lays on it, it is what it is. But normally, if I have a girl that's really super broody, they will pluck their chest feathers out, and they're really serious. She's not that serious. <laughs> So I'm gonna put her down and let her go be angry on the chicken yard and fuss with everybody else. Well, I hope that this has helped you today. If you can figure out what you wanna do. Do you wanna incubate your eggs and then hand raise your own, which is the way I prefer, or let a broody tootie mama do it for you. You wanna get down and eat. Okay, mommy will let you get down. Mm-mm, huggies first, and then you can go get you some snacks. How about that? So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Let nature take its course and let these broody tooty hens do the work for you and raise them. Just know that they're probably going to be a little bit wild and not as friendly as you'd like. 
it takes a lot of the stress off you and it doesn't cost you any electricity because the hen's doing all the work. So broody could mean a lot of good things for you. Now, um, having that broody mama that hatches her own eggs, more than likely they're gonna teach that little chick absolutely everything that they need to know. Some hens that you'll find in your flock, and it depends on your bird and how your birds are, because I've had a few like that too. They don't mind laying on the eggs and they don't mind hatching the eggs, but after they hatch the babies, they don't really know what to do with them and don't really care. So then you still have to take the babies. So just be mindful of that. You can either have a broody mama, a good broody mama that can do all the work for you, or you can just do the route that I like to do the most. My favorite is just collecting the fertilized eggs, putting them in my incubators, hatching them, and just getting to know all my sweet little baby chicks. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Don't forget to check out ChrissyOshow.com and I'm going to let you have it with the babies.